Hi guys, welcome back. It's Mina. Uh, this piece is called Copper Mine, and in it we talk about my ongoing love affair with copper <laughs> and show you how I use this pretty cool tool I figured out. So let's get going. You ever fallen in love with a color? I mean, like, kind of obsessed in love. <laughs> This week I have been having this love affair with copper and I have tried out all these different brands and just literally had this like obsession going. So it's been a very coppery week and I've done the Deco Art copper, I've done Chroma Molten Metals copper, I've done the Artist Loft copper. Today we are using Golden's copper, Golden's Iridescent Fine copper and this is just it's magic. It really is. I gotta say, I love Golden's paint. They just, it's amazing. When you look at one copper compared to another one, you just, you see the difference. So this one is actually a little bit more on the orangey, penny sort of copper side versus the Deco Art, which has more red tones to it. So it's been really interesting. I really like the Chroma Molten Metals one because it blends beautifully. Today we're doing a 30 by 40 inch canvas. This one's a gallery wrapped professional free canvas. So what we're going to do today, I want to do a couple of uh, long ring pours. Let me tell you about my colors real quick. The first one is Liquitex Basics Burnt Umber. It's this beautiful creamy dark brown. Um, I did add a little bit of the Golden's Van Dyke Brown to it, the, the um, fluid acrylic one. Because, oh, hi jackhammers. Sorry, I wouldn't be complete without jackhammers, right? Um, they're kind of driving me crazy. I gotta be honest with you. I've been patient, I've been calm, but it's getting to me now. <laughs> I'll tell you about the chickens another time. Anyway, so Liquitex Basics Burnt Umber. Then I have my Deco Art in Rich Espresso. I love this color. It's such a, it's a, it's not very very dark, but it's got a great depth to it, and it's got a lot of sparkle to it also, which is really really nice. Then the golden copper iridescent fine, just delicious. So this one is fairly thin, and when I mixed it with my pouring medium, it was still a little bit thin. So I actually added something that I found from Golden's, which is a gel medium. This is the soft one, not real, real, not the, not the extra soft, but the soft medium. And it's uh, basically just to give body to your paint. So it's something similar to PVA glue. It's not glue, but it thickens things up in that same sense. And I didn't want to use the glue with that copper because I didn't want to take the chance that it would dull it down because it has so much sparkle. So we're going to see how that goes. I'll show you a picture of that bottle too. This one is the Chroma Molten Metals Xanadu Gold. I love the name of this one, Xanadu Gold. So pretty. And it's it's kind of a orangey-ish yellow. It's not as yellow as the 24 karat. Um, it's got a little bit more depth to it. The 24 karat is a little more sparkly, I'll give you that. But this is a very pretty color, I like it. And I like how it works with my gradient that I've got going. And the other one that I've been slightly obsessed with this week is the Deco Art Pearl. This is just magic color because it does such cool things to all these colors and it blends beautifully. We're probably not gonna get a lot of blending today because we're doing a ring pour. So I've kept them slightly on the thicker side versus like a straight pour where they would be thinner and they would all be blending together. And my last color that I'm going to be using mostly as a background, I don't think I'm gonna put it in the pour at all. This is Windsor & Newton Windsor Blue. Very, very pretty color, I like it. I like their paints a lot. It's a nice creamy, texture to it. It mixes very easily. There's no clumps. There's no lumps. Nice stuff. Very nice stuff. Okay, so 30 by 40 canvas, a lot of paint, <laughs> like 44 ounces, something like 42 ounces. So I'm not going to stress about it. I'm just going to pour. I'm going to use this probably at least twice. I'm hoping to go across once this way and across once this way, but I don't think I'm going to get all the way across. So it might be four times. <laughs> okay. Two cups. So let's get started. I'm going to layer it carefully. I'm not going to do a dirty cup. Multiple small layers. I'm not looking for big, huge chunks of color. Here we go. Pouring it carefully down the side. The first one doesn't matter so much. 
So we're gonna do a gradient. This is my rich espresso now. And it's a similar color to that burnt umber, but it's sparkly, which is awesome. Now, do I wanna put a little bit of, no, I'm just gonna go with the copper. This first layer, we're gonna do it in order. I'm gonna go with some Xanadu gold. So my pouring medium today is the Liquitex Gloss Medium and Varnish and uh, a little bit of water. Some of them needed a lot more water. The Burnt Umber obviously needed a lot of water. I don't know if you saw what just happened there, but it sort of did that mildly dirty thing where the rich espresso sank underneath, which is actually, I'm okay with that because it's going to deepen everything and give it a little bit of a sparkle. I'm going to go smaller on that one. Now we're going to go back. I think I'm going to skip the rich espresso in this and just go straight for the copper. And then some more of the Xanadu gold. Pearl. I'm going to try to... There we go. Okay. So that's our first cup ready to go. Alright. So my cups are about a little more than halfway full now, which means I have one more of these that I can make. Hmm. I do have more paint mixed up. I have an extra brown and an extra blue and an extra pearl and an extra gold, but I don't have an extra copper. So that's why I'm like, hmm. Okay, so instead of going from end to end, maybe I'll just do a smaller one in the middle sort of, and then we'll stretch it out either side. Okay, so let me do that. We're going to start over here. We're going to do like a wandering ring pour, maybe with some sections of straight pour. But here we go. Look at that copper. Oh, yeah. stop there real quick and I'm going to put a little bit of pearl and a little bit of gold in there and maybe a touch of copper too just to bring some more color back because that one section is looking very brown over here That's interesting. <laughs> okay, let's do this again. So looking at this, and one of the things I love about doing ring pours, and especially with working with big canvases, is with this especially, you can see what you've just done. And you can decide, I like this. I don't like that. I'm not doing that again. I love this part. I love that part. This is too much here. So you can adjust your next cup to what you want. So knowing that, I'm going to put a little bit of pearl in the cup first because I do like that sharp contrast between the brown and the pearl. So now we're going to have our brown, smaller layer of the rich espresso because it did kind of travel a lot. Okay, now we're going to do copper and I'm going to kind of put this around the whole side instead of just in one puddle. And gold. Pearl again, some more gold, some more copper. I'm gonna put a little bit of pearl next to the copper on this one, and then the espresso, and then a little bit of the burnt umber, and then we're gonna go back with copper. Just a little gold. A little bit of 
the purple. Okay. Alrighty. So we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to kind of go a little wider on this one and maybe end up skinnier over here. So here we go. our copper now that's kind of neat So now, what do I want to do? I want to put a layer. I have a, another gold over here, 24 karat gold, mixed kind of thin, and I'm going to use this as a flow extender around those two pores that I just did. That's really pretty. I love that copper. It's beautiful. So it's been really interesting studying the different brands of copper and how they all react and how they play with each other and how they blend and it's been really neat. It's been a very fun experiment for me. I've enjoyed it a lot. Okay, that's cool. So now I want to come in with some of the blue, but the thing that I wanted to try which I haven't actually done before so <laughs> it might be kind of dumb to try it, is uh I was thinking, well, I don't know if I want to do that, but I want to do some little straight pours around this, and then I want to put blue around it also. So actually, I'm going to put some of the blue around now first so I can see what that looks like. Okay, I'm going to come in through here. So this stuff I have thinned out. It's not as thick as the other ones. It's not very thin, but it's not as thick as that. <laughs> okay. So that's good. And I do want that, a lot, that blue to show up. So I'm going to put some of this on my corners as well. And I have a whole other cup of this also, too. So actually I might do some... And I have pearl and I have brown over there. So maybe I'll do some like little smaller pores around that side and then look what I got everybody's using these I know <laughs> so I thought I'd give it a try because it looks like it's fun to play with it to be honest with you okay oh that is nice <laughs> I ain't gonna lie okay so that's cool I'll just spread that out on the corners All right, I'll give it to you. That's fun to play with. <laughs> and maybe slightly neater than using my hands. But I still like finger painting, so. <laughs> okay, that's good. Um, all right. So let's get uh, a little straight pour cup or a little cup ready to do some smaller pours. I guess I can use my same big cup. I don't need to use a smaller one. Okay. Because I have more colors over there. So I'm going to use up what I have here. I'm going to start off with some pearl. And I'm going to go backwards this time. I'm going to do the gold. I'm going to do the copper. Do a little bit of espresso. A little bit more pearl. And some brown. And then this one, I think I am actually going to put a splash of blue in there. And then we're going to repeat it again. Pearl, gold, copper, espresso, pearl. Throw 
get some more gold in there. A little bit of brown. Okay. So, let's do one over here first and just see what happens. So, I think I want to end it here, so I'm going to start it over there. go kind of around this one a little bit actually yeah that's really cool like that. Alright, now I'm going to pour the rest of the pearl and the blue around because I don't want to mess that up anymore. A little spatula. I admit it, it's fun. All right, let's tilt it. Actually, this is really cool. It's kind of like swiped it in some places. I like that. It's beautiful. Okay, now hopefully this is gonna work. <laughs> this is gorgeous in here, right in there. Is so pretty, and this one I love that. Hopefully that's gonna spread out and have this on either side. Oh, where's Georgie? All right, let's torch it real quick. There's the wind. Hello, darling. Where you been? She's been coming to play at night, I think. Okay. I love that blue in there. I almost wish I had put blue inside this, but that's okay. We'll see what happens. All right. Ready? Okay. Here we go. Ooh, that's heavy. Okay, so we're just going to kind of move it around and see where the weight of the paint is. I want to go down this way because I want to stretch out this part on the top. It's beautiful. and slow towards that corner. That's so interesting, is it? That the whole thing I had planned was like the ring board, the ring board, the ring board, and now it's like, oh no, wait, this part in the middle is cool. <laughs> oh, that's heavy. Let's come back to the middle again. 
looks like we're getting ready to go off that edge, so I'm going to go with it. And just get some of that extra brown off. And hook it over the corner. Come back to the middle and stretch that out. Well, we lost that ring. <laughs> try something. I got this uh, palette knife that's kind of weird. It kind of looks like a crown. And while my paint is still wet, I just want to kind of bring some of that in there. That's kind of neat. I'm going to do that again. Drippy. Okay, and it dripped again. <clears throat> That's neat though. I think I want to continue that line across. That's really cool. I like that. That's like that Italian marbling sort of look. A little too good though. That's really cool. I like that. Yay, I figured out what it was for. Or what I can do it do with it at least. That was just some fun thing I saw on Amazon. Ooh, wait a minute. Kind of like a swirl. That's cool. That. Neat. Okay, that's cool. Um, you know what? I have some white dripped over here. I'm gonna put it on this thingy. I'm gonna go into this. torch it. I'm going to just tip it a little bit down this way. Incorporate everything. I think it needs a little bit of blue right in through here. torch it and see if anything else wants to come up. I do see some little cells already starting up there in the corner, which are very cute. All right, let's torch it.
can see a drip that I don't like. better or it was messier. I'm gonna leave that like that because I like it. Actually, what I do want to do is put it down just a touch. So that's cool. I like it. Sorry, I got lost in the <laughs> swirly moments for a moment there. I don't like these like rounded edges so I'd rather take them and elongate them a little bit you know give it some more movement I like this thing a lot now that I know what to do with it <laughs> what's it they're staring at it <laughs> what the heck That's cool because it kind of scrapes up the stuff that's underneath on the bottom too. This is kind of neat, like a little copper moon. It looks like the Rolex logo. Yes, like a crown. Absolutely, it does. Stretch these out a little bit too. That's neat. I like how it blends everything too. That's really cool. All right. I'm going to stop messing with it. <laughs> Wait, one more. One more, one more. I think, uh, I don't know if you all caught it, but my husband was being funny a couple of weeks ago and I kept saying, I'm going to do this or I'm going to torch and then I'm going to stop. And I was like, continued even after I said I was gonna stop so then he started putting hashtag yeah right honey so if you see that on the screen that's husband being funny <laughs> um, anyway this one turned out pretty cool I like it so that was really interesting is I had the idea to do the ring pours with small straight pours but what ended up happening is I ended up tilting off the ring pours and keeping that section of straight pour which I love this I think this is gorgeous over here it's a little strange right now because it's very silly, but I think that that, hi baby, Zen has come to visit again. I'm not going to pick him up today though because I have paint on my hands. Um, but I like this a lot. This turned out really cool. That's the rich espresso is coming through with the blue. Isn't that amazing how just that little bit of blue in that one cup just started this whole thing off? So, all right, well, that's awesome. You know, I like this part a lot, and I think that this part needs a little bit more of that in here. Just to sort of round it out a bit. Okay. All right. There we go. I like that. All right. I'm glad.
glad I picked this up because I almost was like, nah, don't do it. But that turned out really neat. So play with your things. Experiment. Figure out what you can do with things and what they're supposed to be used for. And, you know, have fun. That was really cool. I enjoyed that a lot. All right, so I will take you down and bring you in for some close-ups and I will see you at the dried result. <laughs> okay, so this is a couple of days later. This is the dried painting. And I am just thrilled with the way that this came out. It's in full sun right now. And you can just see all the metallics kind of blinging and just beautiful. That's the Xanadu gold and of course the Golden's copper together. And then up here, we get into that pearl, which has given everything such a pretty sheen and luster to it. And this gorgeous sparkle in the blue. So pretty. So you can see in here, these are those lines that I drew with my Rolex <laughs> tool, as my husband calls it. But you see, if you put that in when it's still wet, then it and you tilt a little bit to incorporate everything, then they don't look like an afterthought. They look like they're part of the piece and it makes a lot more sense. So in here is really neat. You can see all the different colors. You can see the pearl and then you can see the Xanadu gold and then you can see the copper and the brown and some of that blue. And then over here we have our little, what's left of our ring pores. I did end up tilting it again and got some of that brown off of the bottom because it was just a little too overpowering. But I'm really happy with this. I love how it came out. I think there's a lot of flow and a lot of movement and just beautiful, very cool. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, please remember to subscribe if you haven't. And um, if you wanna see more examples of my work, you can check out Mina Villegas Art on Facebook. And you can send me messages there as well. Um, I do love to do commissions. And, you know, I really love to hear from you guys in the comments. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've used any of these kinds of tools or palette knives before. And what you do with them other than, you know, oil painting and things like that. I do love to hear from you all. Thank you so much for your continued support and your encouragement and all your lovely comments. I can't tell you. You guys make my day. You really do. Thank you so much. I will see you guys for the next one. Have a great day and happy Labor Day. Bye-bye.